then everyone would have some idea of how the universe works. Well, that is a tremendous vision. Now, Carl Sagan, you wrote an introduction to the book, and one of the striking things that you said is that it's only children nowadays who ask the big questions because they don't know enough not to. What I was trying to get across was uh, the notion that the school systems, uh, it seems to me, have a, uh, a um, attitude of discouragement of asking fundamental questions. If, uh, if a five or six year old uh, asks why uh, the moon is round or why grass is green, the usual adult answer, at least in my experience, is to discourage the child. Say, what, uh, what shape did you expect the moon to be, square? Or what color did you expect the grass to be, blue? Uh, instead of saying that uh, those are interesting questions, let's try to find out the answer, or maybe nobody knows the answer, and, uh, and when you grow up, you'll be able to discover the answer. It would be very healthy for the human species if uh, there were less discouragement and more scientists. Arthur Clark. One of the reasons why I write science fiction is because it does free the imagination and does inspire people to become scientists and astronauts. Many astronauts have made me feel a very old man by coming up and saying to me, you know, your book turned me on when I was a small boy. Excellent. Now, I have planned a, a reasonably finite structure for our little colloquium, and I'd like to start, if I may, with Professor Hawking. How did the universe start? With a Big Bang? We observe that distant galaxies are moving away from us. This means that they must have been closer together in the past. In fact, one can show that all the galaxies must have been on top of each other about 15 billion years ago. This was a real Big Bang, not a puny thing that took place on the stock exchange a couple of years ago. It was the beginning of the universe and of time itself. Anything that happened before the Big Bang could not affect what happened after. So we can neglect events before the Big Bang and say that time began at the Big Bang. 